Although we cannot see electric field, we can draw lines with arrows to help us visualize the electric field. Those lines are called electric field lines, or sometimes called lines of force. For example, if I have a positive point charge here, we know that the field goes away from or out of the charge. So we can draw lines coming out of the charge. There are a few properties of electric field lines we should know. The direction of the lines is the direction of the field. The density of the lines is proportional to the strength of the field. The lines originate from positive charge or infinity and end on negative charge or infinity. The number of lines out of or into a charge is proportional to the magnitude of the charge. So the direction of the lines is the direction of the field. The line over here goes to the right. That means that over here the direction of the electric field is to the right. The lines originate from a positive charge. That's why the lines go out of the positive charge. There are no negative charges nearby for the lines to end on. So these lines, they go to infinity. The number of lines out of or into a charge is proportional to the magnitude of the charge. So if this charge is positive 1q and another charge has positive 2q, and I draw four lines for this charge, that means that I will need to draw eight lines for this other charge. Twice the charge, twice the lines coming out. Of course, I can choose to draw eight lines for the positive 1q. In that case, I will have to draw twice that much, 16 lines for the positive 2q. The density of the lines is proportional to the strength of the field. So at the location closer to the charge, the lines are closer together, higher density for the lines, therefore stronger electric field. Farther away, the lines are not as close together, lower density of lines, weaker electric field. For a positive point charge, the electric field lines come out of the point charge, spread out in a spherically symmetric fashion. When we are close to the charge, the lines spread out onto a small sphere. When we are farther away, the same number of lines spread out onto a bigger sphere. This means that the density of field lines here is like the total number of field lines divided by the area of a sphere. Since the strength of the field is proportional to the density of the field lines, the E is proportional to the density of the lines, and the density of the lines is proportional to the number of lines divided by the area of a sphere the lines spread out onto. The area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. That means the electric field is proportional to 1 over r squared. And this is consistent with the Coulomb's law. The electric field produced by a point charge is kq over r squared, which is also proportional to 1 over r squared. Now let's see if you can draw field lines for a point charge negative q. For a negative charge, the electric field goes into the negative charge. So the field lines should be like this. The lines end on a negative charge. And because there are no positive charges nearby for the lines to originate from, so those lines come from infinity. You can certainly add more lines if you want. If you're asked to draw field lines on a test, just make sure that you draw enough lines to show the pattern. What if you have a positive charge and a negative charge, same amount, positive Q and negative Q right next to each other? In this case, the lines will still come out of the positive charge and go into the negative charge. But the lines don't have to go to infinity because 
the lines come out of the positive charge, you can go right into the negative charge. So the lines will be like this. Since these two charges are, have the same amount, it's still kind of symmetric. And we have equal number of lines for the charge. Six lines coming out of the positive 1Q and the six lines going into the negative 1Q. Although I didn't show this in the picture, but this line would go around and uh, go into the negative Q. What if it's a negative 1Q and negative 1Q right next to each other? The lines will still go into the negative charge, but there is no positive charges nearby for the lines to originate from, so all the lines would originate from infinity. Field lines cannot cross, so they have to avoid each other in a way, like this. And uh, since they are the same, same amount of charge, so it's uh, symmetric on the two sides. Field lines should never cross each other because the direction of a field line has to be the same as the direction of the electric field at that location. Since there is only one direction for the electric field at any one location, field lines cannot cross like this with two different directions at one point. What if I have a positive 2Q near a negative 1Q? So I still have the lines going into the negative charge and coming out of the positive charge. But because uh, this is twice the amount of charge as this one, so I drew six lines for the negative 1Q, but I have to draw 12 lines coming out of the positive 2Q. So the lines, half of the lines will go into the negative Q, but then the other half of the lines will have to go to infinity. By the way, this charge configuration is what we call a dipole. A dipole consists of two point charges, one positive Q, the other one's negative Q. One positive, one negative, and they carry equal amount of charge. So this is not a dipole because they are both negative. This is not a dipole because uh, even though it, one charge is positive, the other is negative, but they don't have equal amount of charge. A dipole must have one positive, one negative with equal amount of charge.